Hi, it's Dave Robinson with PlantCoverCrops.com. I'm in the tip top of the thumb of Michigan in the area of uh, between Bad Axe and Kindy. We're in a very beautiful field of uh, wheat that uh, we're hoping will go somewhere in the 100 bushel per acre. And the question is, why are we looking at a wheat field on a cover crop blog? Well, the answer is, is that this field gives us an opportunity to bust a myth. And this, that myth is, is that you cannot have a good stand of medium red clover under sown into a highly productive wheat field. This field has three things going on it. We have a strip down through here where we had a little less nitrogen put on than what we wished we would have. Then we have most of the field that has just everything just perfect, somewhere around 90 units of N or something in that order. And then we have another area back over this way where as the spray truck was coming through and spreading the fertilizer, where we actually had some overlap. So we've got somewhere uh, less than uh, ideal nitrogen, then we have the ideal nitrogen, and then we have the extra. So, like I say, this was under sown with uh, medium red clover. This clover was pre inoculated and coated. And uh, so, we want to look in here and see what kind of stand we have on the clover. As we would anticipate, we have a very good stand of the VNS medium red clover in this field. Uh, it's fairly tall, somewhere up around six inches tall. And the reason we have that is we had a lot more sunlight getting down in through the canopy. I think everybody would agree that makes sense. Well, here we are on our wheat where we had actually heavier amounts of nitrogen. And let's see what we have in here. A beautiful stand of wheat. Yeah, beautiful stand of wheat and a beautiful stand of clover in the wheat. That's the wonderful thing about live video. Got a very nice stand of the red clover in here. Maybe not quite as tall, but again, a very good stand. So when this is harvested off, I think it's gonna work really well for this producer. He's gonna have a very good stand of the red clover. And uh, I think that's gonna be very valuable for him. Now let's say we uh, go over to the area where we had additional nitrogen put on. And again, this is not typical uh, for the whole field, but certainly where we have the strips where we had the overlap, and let's look down here where we had the uh, probably close to 200 units of nitrogen put on, and guess what? Beautiful clover. Again, not quite as tall, not quite as advanced, but very nice. And I think that that is uh, very important for us to investigate as we're looking at under sowing wheat, highly productive wheat with medium red clover. The question is, will it work? The answer is, yes it will. So therefore, today, CoverCrops.com, PlantCoverCrops.com is being a myth buster. The myth, it doesn't work in the reality in 2011, here in the Bad Axe Kindy area of Michigan, it's worked, it has worked beautiful this winter. Again, this is Dave Robison with PlantCoverCrops.com.